When I was around eight years old, we had a scrappy little mutt named Fluffy. He was no fancy breed, just a mix of who knows what, with shaggy brown fur and a bark that seemed too big for his small frame. But Fluffy was fierce, loyal, and he had this way of thinking he was 10 feet tall. In his eyes, he was the family protector, even if that mostly just meant barking at birds and chasing his own tail. Every morning, Fluffy followed my dad down the long driveway to wait with me for the school bus. Dad would sip his coffee, I'd fidget with my backpack, and Fluffy would sit on his haunches, looking very serious, as if he were on guard duty. He would wait until I was safely on the bus, and then he'd trot back home with my dad, his job done for the day. But one morning, everything changed. As my dad and Fluffy waited for the bus with me, Fluffy saw something across the road that grabbed his attention. Before anyone could react, he darted off, his little legs pumping as he chased whatever had caught his eye. But just then, a truck came barreling down the road, and in a blur, it hit him. My dad rushed to Fluffy's side, but by the time he got there, it was too late. Fluffy was lying still on the side of the road, his little body limp. My dad told me later he didn't want me to see him like that, so he gently picked up Fluffy, took him out to the back of our property, and buried him beneath an old oak tree. He didn't have time to tell me before I got on the bus, and by the time I got home, we were already packing to leave for a family trip out of town for the weekend. I didn't even know what had happened to Fluffy until later. We were away all weekend, and while I didn't understand yet that Fluffy was gone, I did keep wondering why he wasn't there with us. But by Sunday evening, when we pulled into the driveway, I'd almost forgotten about the whole thing until I saw a familiar figure sitting on the front porch. There, in the fading light of the day, was Fluffy, just as shaggy and scruffy as ever, his little tail wagging as if nothing had happened. Dad stopped dead in his tracks, his mouth hanging open. I buried him on Friday, he muttered, looking as pale as a ghost. We couldn't believe it Fluffy was supposed to be gone, buried in the ground, yet here he was, waiting on our porch, tail thumping like it was just another Sunday evening. Turns out, that truck had only knocked him out cold, giving him quite a scare but not doing any real damage. Fluffy must have woken up, crawled out of the shallow grave Dad had dug, and made his way back to the house. Maybe he was a little worse for wear, but nothing was going to keep him from waiting for us on that porch. For weeks afterward, my dad couldn't look at Fluffy without shaking his head, calling him the zombie dog or joking about his second life. And for years, whenever anyone asked if we had a dog, I'd tell them proudly, yeah, his name's Fluffy, and he's the toughest dog in the world. He rose from the dead just to wait for us to come home.